As the sun rose, they landed in a lovely desert by pyramids, where a small group of children were playing. The children cried out in joy and waved at Sarah and her Ariel. Welcome, I am Salim, cried one of the boys. What are you doing here? Sorry, we can't come closer. We have to stay at least one meter away. That's why we are here, Sarah called back. I am Sarah, and this is Ariel. Did you know that children can keep their neighbors, friends, parents, and grandparents safe from the coronavirus? We all need to wash our hands with soap and water, said Salim with a smile. We know, Sarah. We also cough into our elbows if we are sick, and we wave to people instead of shaking hands. We try to stay inside, but we live in a very crowded city. Not everybody is staying home. Hmm, maybe I can help with that, said Ariel. They can't see the coronavirus, but they can see me. Jump on, but please sit on both sides of my wings. They are at least one meter apart. Ariel flew into the sky with Salim and Sarah on both of his wings. He flew across the city and began to roar and sing. Salim cried out to the children in the streets, Go, tell your families, we are safer inside. We can take care of each other, best by staying home. People were amazed by what they saw. They waved and agreed to go into their houses. Ariel soared high into the sky. Salim cried out in joy. Up there in the clouds, a plane flew by, and the passengers looked out at them in awe. People will have to stop traveling soon, at least for now, said Salim. They're closing the borders across the world, and we should all stay where we are with people we love. So many things feel like they have changed, said Sarah. I get scared about it sometimes. It can feel scary and confusing when things are changing, Sarah, said Ariel. When I feel scared, I breathe very slowly and breathe out fire. Ariel blew out a huge fireball. How do you relax when you feel scared? Ariel asked them. I like to think about someone who makes me feel safe said Sarah. Me too. I think of all the people who help me feel safe. I like my grandparents, said Salim. I miss them. I can't give them a hug because I could give them the coronavirus. We usually see them every weekend, but not now because we have to keep them safe. Can you call them? Sarah asked her friend. Oh, yes said Salim. They call me every day and I tell them about all the things we are doing at home. It makes me feel better and it makes them feel better too. It is normal to miss people we love that we can't see right now, said Ariel. It shows how much we care. Would it make you feel better to meet other heroes? Yes, please, Sarah and Salim cried back. Great, my friends, Sasa has a very special superpower, said Ariel. Let's go. And so they soared down to earth and landed by a small village. A girl was outside her house picking flowers. When she saw Ariel and the children sitting on his wings, she laughed. Ariel, she cried, we have to stay at least one meter apart. So, I will throw you a hug. What are you all doing here? I felt your hug when you told me that, Sasa, said Ariel. I love how we can use words to show we care and accents too. I wanted my friends to learn about your superpower. What is my superpower? said Sasa. Since someone in your family got sick, 
you are staying at home to make sure you don't share the coronavirus with anyone else, said Erio. Yes, it's my dad and he's staying in his bedroom until he gets completely better, said Sasa. But it's not so bad. We play games, cook, spend some time in our garden and have meals together. My brothers and I touch our toes and dance. We read books and I can keep learning because sometimes I miss school. Staying home felt weird at first, but now it feels normal. That's not always easy, Sasa, said Ariel. You are finding ways to have fun and get along with your loved ones at home. That makes you my hero. Do you ever fight with your family? asked Salim. We fight sometimes, said Sasa. We have to be extra patient and extra understanding and even quicker to say, I am sorry. That is a real superpower because it can make ourselves and others feel better. I also need a little time alone. I love dancing and singing on my own. And I can call my friends sometimes. But Ariel, what about people who are far from home or don't have a house? Asked Sarah. That's a great question, Sarah, said Ariel. Let's go and find out.